Simon, Audrey, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. Congratulations on Sugar. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about a f about the fun about making this detective drama and taking this all really on a wild uh, story with twists, turns, character <laughs> developments. I mean, so much fun. Mm. So much fun, and I would say the entire experience has been a process of discovery for all of us. Mm. You know, we knew what we had in Mark Protasevich's um, initial scripts. And then as we brought the team together, you know, we hired Fernando Morales early on. He talked about the vision he wanted to bring to the show, the tone, the aesthetic, and then bringing all these different aspects to life were really surprising. And you then have Colin Farrell who brings a whole other dimension to the character. And in post, we really found this distinct, fresh feeling show um, when it was cut together and that includes the film clips and it also you know we've never had this happen where a studio watches a um, first director's cut and they love the temp music mm -hmm. they absolutely embraced Fernando's temp music and so we had to actually follow that and do it seven times again you know mm -hmm. it was just incredible what they put together. They created this amazing template for us to follow. Mm. Um, so again, the process of discovery and figuring out as we went along this balancing act of film noir and how to make it feel modern and infuse it with a special tone was really exciting for us. And, and how, what is it that you guys use for inspiration? Mm -hmm. Is there any classic stories or movies, TV shows that, that really inspired you guys to, to find those, those classic tropes in these kinds of series that we love? The monologues, the camera angles, mm -hmm. uh, just that that smooth music and and uh, really almost a relaxing feel sometimes. <laughs> moments uh, that um, you brought into Sugar. Yeah, I mean there are tons um, of films uh, and shows that inspired um, and informed uh, Sugar. Uh, Sugar the show and Sugar the character. The character is a huge uh, cinephile and loves movies and it's part of what he loves so much. Um, uh, about living in Hollywood, um, and and so it's it is a huge part of the DNA of our show. We talked about tons of movies and shows as we were developing and making um, the series. Mark Protasevich, who's the creator um, and wrote those uh, first few episodes, he himself is a huge cinephile, and so he could literally give you a you know uh, tutorial for a semester of the the movies that went into the writing of the of the series. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we talked also a lot about um, and thought a lot about uh, noir stories that took place in Los Angeles, because it is a it is a city that has shown up in some classic uh, noir films um, and and shows. Uh, Chinatown is one of my favorites and is something that I think has elements of it um, infused into uh, into the show in terms of the generational conflict uh, of the family and just the exploration of. Both the sort of highest highs and the and, and the lowest depths of uh, of the city of LA. It's very very beautifully done. I was I was mesmerized by by a lot of it. Uh, Audrey you touched a little bit upon it, but I just want to expand a little bit. What makes Colin Farrell such a great lead in the series? Um, Colin is such a dynamic character actor who um, embodies. He just transforms into what you know whoever he's playing. And he and John Sugar are very much the same in a lot of ways. You know, Colin is this classical leading man living in a modern world. He's kind, thoughtful, sensitive, and he also brought his own sense of humor and wit, charisma, and physicality to the role. Mm -hmm. So I think often for us, the lines blurred between Colin being Colin on set and Colin becoming John Sugar. You know, um, so he was just a perfect fit for the character. Audrey and Simon, thank you so much for your time. Love the pacing of the series. We've seen it with you and Simon in the invasion. Now we see it again uh, here in Sugar. Again, thank you, and I uh, can't wait for more people to see this. Thank, thank you, you so much.